Hello guys, it's Karma and I'm back with another video and today I'm in Rogue Lineage yet again and today I'm going to show you guys, well not show but tell kind of, try to show you guys but mostly tell you guys how to get a prosthetic arm. As you can see, I got one, I got one about like two days ago and uh, I thought getting a prosthetic arm wasn't that hard but actually it's pretty hard. Because the chances of getting your arm eaten off by a zombie, which I'll explain a little more later, is pretty little. It's like a, a little chance. So anyways, I'm going to uh, talk in a like a step-by-step -step process of how to get the prosthetic arm. Um, so yeah, first step, which you want to do always, um, you want to first have the money, alright? So if you guys do not know, it costs $500 to buy a prosthetic arm and give you it, right? So first of all, you need 500 uh, silver for that alone, and then you will also need money for fixing your injuries. Uh, I'll explain that. So basically, you need about 800 in total, just in case. 800, 500 least, 800 most, I guess. Actually, a thousand would be kind of most, but 800 is like ideal. Um, so yeah, get 800. Then once you have 800, you should start doing the process. And um, if you have a class or anything, like uh, maybe you have a soup, well, you have to be assassin. Well, actually, sorry, my bad. Uh, any class you can get with it, but this mostly goes for shinobi and all that. So uh, this is why I was talking about like assassin stuff. But anyways, um, it is kind of risky if you like have progress and then you try to get your cut arm cut off. That's risky. So I would suggest like doing it when you got wiped already and then you're like trying to work your way back up you should first thing you should do is try to get money and get your arm cut off first then progress in your class or super class or ultra class all that um so yeah first thing 800 cash you got that you're good now what you want to do is get somebody you can get a friend a trusted friend okay you want a trusted friend for this because it requires your life on like your life is going to die you're going to die if that person uh you trust doesn't save you all right so basically what you need to do is get one screecher which is at crypt right over here at cardinal crossing if you guys don't know where crypt is crypt get one screecher they're called screechers but i call them zombies get one of those all right knock them out take them make it one hp and then carry them while they're on your back they do not they do not um heal so you don't have to worry about that so they're at one hp good to go now once you have that you want to i don't know i can't confirm this part but basically uh you can break your arm by break your arm first and then let the creature kind of eat you so to break your arm you can either let somebody press n on you while you're knocked n is like uh breaking or giving you like uh in injuries and you have a chance of getting the arm broken or leg or any uh, type of energy but I would recommend you just fall off like really high like this tall break your leg then go back up break your arm and then that that's guaranteed breaking your arm but uh, you will break your leg in the process anyway so once you've done that you give your money your 800 everything that you everything that you like um, own give it to your trusted person so that they can give you give it back to you uh, in case you die so but this process doesn't include you dying all right this process you you can stay alive in this process so anyways um, so give it all to them they have it you have zero silver you have zero nothing in your inventory well you can have things like skills and stuff because you can't give those but just give them to him or her or whatever and then um, let the creature knock you out and eat you all right when I mean by eat you let them eat you once when I mean by once all right so say I'm knocked on the ground I'm knocked and a screecher this is my cursor the cursor is a screecher and um, basically when it knocks you out I'm knocked out it eats you right and you guys know that effect when you break your bone or break or get an injury you know that like red circle effect when the screecher starts eating you like less than one second or one second in it will give you that effect and once it gives you that effect you want that trusted person to hit the screecher off of you so that it gets knocked out and you don't die. Because if the screecher keeps on eating you, you're going to die. So what you want to do is knock it out, knock it off you. The trusted person knocks it off of you. And then if you don't have your arm, um, 
enough because you'll get one injury. You'll receive one injury each time. You'll receive one injury and it, it's a low chance of getting the broken arm, but you'll get one injury and you might it might blind you, it might break your bone again, it might break it might give you a scar on your stomach. It might do all that, right? But basically, you want to keep doing that. So once you knock once they knock you off, once they knock the zombie off and you don't have that injury, the arm injury to uh, your your arm cut off, then you want to let them eat you again, give you another injury, knock them off again and repeat the process. But the thing is, what I didn't know, right, is there's a maximum amount of injuries you can have on your body at a time. So basically, what you need to do is when you have the maximum amount and you'll know because if the screecher is eating you for more than one second, your person needs to know when to hit you. Your trusted person needs to know when to hit you off. I mean, what's it, when to hit that, hit that zombie off. Because if it keeps eating you, you're going to die. So if the zombie is eating you for more than one second, hit them off instantly. That means you've reached the maximum amount of injuries you can have at a time. And when you've reached that, you have to go to a doctor and spend about 30 to 40 silver to repair all your things. And then you have to go back to the process of breaking your arm and then back, back to the process of the zombie eating you one at a time, one injury at a time until you get that arm cut off. But for me, I had no clue that was the actual thing. I just thought I could keep going through and there was no max injuries. So I just um, kept going through it and I got my arm cut off eventually. Um, not like It didn't take long, but it was like probably the last injury and I got it luckily. But my other friends, they took it took them like five, five four like doctor um, heels for them to actually get their arm cut off. And that took so much money. So yes, that's why you need like 800 at least to um, it, like fix yourself if you're not lucky. And then uh, once you got your arm cut off, you know where to go, or at least you should know. Uh, you want to go to uh, Scroomville and all the hard process is gone now. All right, so let your trusted person give you your stuff back, give you your 500 so you could go buy your prosthetic arm. You want to go to Scroomville. I'm going there right now. Go down into the Royal Woods and then go to Alana, which is also near Vampire Base, if you guys do not know that because it is. Yep, right below me is Vampire Base, and then right here is Scroomville. Let's go in there. Climb over here. Oh, what? There's a campfire there now? That's new. I haven't seen that. But now you can burn yourself. In Swimville. That's probably why they added it. All right. So then you want to come over here into this uh, yellow Shroomville building and talk to this guy. He'll tell you uh, he's selling prosthetic arms for 500. Buy it. You got it. GG. That's how you get a prosthetic arm, just like this one right there. So, if this video helped you at all, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are not already, and turn on notifications. And I'll see you guys in another video. Peace! Oh.